the starting five for your Philadelphia 76 guys. At the shooting guard position, six foot two, number three long. Small forward at six foot six, number fourteen. The other guy, six feet four, number zero. The other also. Welcome sports fans, thank you for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. And along with Grant Hill and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Ali LaForce, our reporter. Ali, take it away. Thanks, Brian. Well, Joel Embiid, no stranger to trash talking. He said, I don't start it, I just finish it. I'm a competitor. I don't love disrespecting people, but I love making them look silly on the basketball court. Dominating, winning, it's just fun to me. It's nothing personal, guys. He is fun to watch too, Allie. Good stuff there. And here we can check out the story for Seth Curry. He's been really dialed in from deep during these last five games. Looking assertive and in control every time he rises up to shoot from beyond the three-point line. And it's been fun to watch. And here's the starting group for the New York Knicks. Barrett plays the small forward with Randall in at the four. Evan Fournier is out there with Kimball Walker. And it's Robinson in at the center position. And for the 76ers, the dynamic duo of Harris and Embiid at the four and the five. Curry and Green, the two and the three. And it's Russell in at the point guard position. And for teams that last season made it deep into the playoffs before being eliminated. Doris, you wonder if there's a team... starting back at zero, so to speak, with a new season. Yeah, B.A., without question. Some teams never recover from those playoff defeats. Sometimes it leads to roster change. But to me, that hunger to persevere, that has got to be there. Now here's Russell. He's averaging about 15 points per game. He's been a solid contributor. Well, he's getting better at absorbing contact. Finishes like this prove Russell is a tough, dynamic competitor. Walker against Russell. Robinson, a screen on Russell. Here's Walker. Impede with a nice defensive effort. Harris passes to Curry. Outside, Green. Down to five on the shot clock. Play clock. The Sixers need to pull one up here. The shot by Russell, no good. Pass to Barrett. Randall outside. Left side, Robinson. Walker for three. That won't go either for Walker. Walker against Russell. with the block. Wingspan, athleticism, verticality. Robinson with authority sends it back. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Oh, wasted no time on that one. Don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Curry passes to Embiid. Back to Curry. Outside. Here's Embiid. 
Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. A sequence you might expect from Embiid. An elite rebounder, and the man knows how to finish. Walker against Russell. Walker attacking. And Embiid with the block. Well, this has not been a quarter to remember for this guy. He looks completely flustered. The shot by Russell, no good. New York has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. We talk about Embiid's surge in production, but it doesn't end there. He said, I want to push my teammates to be better and lead by example. And there's the foul. It's on D'Angelo Russell. That's his first foul of the game. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. It's Robinson, high post. Him beats there. Shot clock at five. Walker for three. Boy, you love the hustle from the young guard. Angelo Russell making him play with the defense. The Sixers leading. Pass to Curry. A clear look for Embiid, and that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm, and many great players eventually realize that we is greater than me. Yeah, Embiid's main point to this team is play the right way, because that's what you can control. He is intelligent, vocal, and selfless. I'll tell you, no matter what he does, he can't find his rhythm, and you get the sense he's starting to press a little bit. Harris passes to Curry. Fournier against Embiid. Over Fournier. That's good from Embiid. On the assist by Curry. Embiid's got six. When you think of Seth Curry, you're thinking shooting. But there, what a pretty pass to find the open man. Walker against Harris. Sinks that one from the post. Walker's got his second bucket of the night. That's his second make in seven attempts. Not a pretty start. Green by Embiid. Russell to pass to Green. And here's Embiid. Shoots over Robinson. Embiid misses. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. Randall, good. Randall has got excellent handle, so you have to respect him off the dribble drive. Pass to Harris. Here's Embiid, and it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. Give him eight points now for New York. They've gone three of nine, struggling so far. Walker passes to Barrett. Down low. Here's Randall. Second chance shot, and it's good on the lay-in. Randall's got his second basket of the game. Well, you love to see Julius Randall attack the offensive glass, get to his second chance opportunities. That's really well done. Embiid a screen on Randall. Here's Harris. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. New York trailing. Pass to Randall. Right side, Robinson. Walker for three. Rebound by the 76ers. Embiid's got four rebounds now. I know he's got to be frustrated right now, but the team is fighting from behind. He's got to stay with it. And the shot goes down. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off assist. Here's Walker following the score by Philadelphia. Randall finds Walker. Randall is screen on Russell. Five to shoot. Back to Randall. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Randall's got his third bucket of the night. Well, the strength of Julius Randall is an obvious asset. This guy, despite being undersized, is able to finish through contact. Now here's Curry. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Embiid passes to Curry. Outside, Green. Here's Harris. The Knicks with the rebound. Last time they met was in New York. 
Yeah, it was really just the failure to convert shots on a consistent basis. <laughs> That's going to cost you games, believe me. I thought most of the shots they took were low percentage looks. The key in the NBA is, can you get your best scorers into their best spots? They didn't do that. Now here's Russell. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against the Bulls in Chicago. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. For Philadelphia, they've got 8 of 15 shots to go. Curry passes to Harris. And Harris throws it down. And you can't let Harris get this close to the basket. When you do, this is what happens. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. in for Curry and it's Maxi in for Russell. So New York going with almost an entire new group here. Gibson's checked in for Robinson. Noel comes in for Julius Randle. Burks, he's checked in for Fournier and quickly subbed in for Walker. Now here's quickly. Not a lot of room. Outside Barrett. Noel. Outside Barrett. Clock at six. Oh, that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. And a quick look at the teams who repeatedly get the job done from the line. Fifth on the list, the 76ers. And this is a team that knocks down their free throws at an elite rate. Whoever they go up against should always try to avoid fouling them at all costs. Outside title. Pass to MB. Back to Thibel. Here's Maxi, guarded by quickly. Embiid from outside. Offensive board. New York has gone one for five from deep in this first. Struggling from that area. Oh, stolen by Harris. Here's the break. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Don't sleep on the size of Tobias Harris. He's not afraid to bang and bump down there. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the 76ers. They've pounded the ball inside in the first half. Forcing the defense to collapse, that could free up shooters going oh, forward. Take a break. I think the other thing break. they've had going for them is Two their shots. passing. Plenty of their baskets have come off assists. And the free throw drops for Harris. A low maintenance star. I mean, Harris gives you the greatness without the ego. Really a coach's dream.
That misses, so he splits the free throws. And because of his versatility, Grant, Harris can play alongside anyone in any lineup, in my opinion. Well, I agree, B. I I mean, big wing players who can shoot have never been more valuable. Harris can stretch you out. He can go back to the basket, and he can run the floor. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Now here's Thibel. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Embiid inside, working on Gibson. That shot is off. New York goes the other way with it. Quickly, outside. Shoots. Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Maxi. Noel covering. Pass to Embiid. Outside title. Embiid is screen on quickly. Four on the clock. And it's Thibel missing. New York has gone only two of six from the three-point line in this first quarter. Barrett against Harris. Now here's Barrett. He's guarded closely. Off target at the rim. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Pass to Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. And there's the process at work. Embiid rolls off the pick and right into scoring position. And here is Barrett. 14 points for him. Last game against Cleveland. And Noel hammers it down. Assistant. The size mismatch Our makes that a high percentage look. Timeout call the 76ers. Boy, everybody remembers the 2019 draft as the Zion Williamson draft. And obviously, R.J. Barrett goes number three to the New York Knicks. left in the first. Dybul, that's good. And the 76ers lead by seven. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Gibson with it. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. It's stolen by Drummond. And now the Sixers on the break. Here's Milton. The rebound by Burks. New York has gone only two of six from the three-point line in this first quarter. Up top, Gibson. Pass to Barrett. Back to Gibson. Milton against Burks. Just three to shoot. Over Milton. 
That one's wide left. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside. There's 45 seconds left in the opening quarter. Drummond the screen on Burks. And he's going for the lob! And Drummond with the jam! Andre Drummond, my goodness, throw it up high, let him finish the rest. Pass to quickly. Screen by Gibson. Quickly with the ball. And Drummond picks him up defensively. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Knicks, Emmanuel Quickly taking two shots. Free throw is good. He's off on the second. The Sixers leading. Guarded by Quickly. Harris against Noel. On the wing, Milton. Shoots from 12. Yep, count it. And early on, they've been on a tear. Just getting whatever they want offensively. Well, what I love is the game plan is solid from the opening tip. Guys are making their shots. That's critical. And so it's Philadelphia earning this break in the action. Up 10. A big difference in shooting percentages. That's why they lead. We'll be right back after this word. to you know be more aggressive um you know just look to impose myself just look to dominate i guess i need to go back to having fun and just dominate then uh, i guess the process continues grant and with big men it's got to be a team effort you got to feed him the rock ba inside and help him get it going Great to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And looking at what we've seen from the Sixers, what do you guys think? Well, coming into tonight, maybe you thought they were going to settle for perimeter jump shots. <laughs> nope, that's not the case. Well, they've certainly made the commitment to pounding the basketball into the painted area, and boy, is it paying dividends. So on the floor for New York, we've got Nerlens Noel. Alec Burks is out there with Julius Randle. Then it's Evan Fournier, and it's Walker in at the point. Here's Walker, and it's off the back of the rim. No good. The 76ers shooting 52% from the floor so far. Drummond, the screen on Fournier. Drummond up top for three. Walker pulls down the board. New York trailing to the inside, and Noel hammers it down. And that's an example of his athleticism, right? Nerland's Noel, the ability to leap up and ram it home. Outside Russell. Shoots over Walker. The shot by Russell, no good. You know, he made an easy shot so much harder, and it really cost him the bucket, guys. Fournier for three. Drummond grabs the miss. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Picked up by Fournier. His first shot coming late. And it's blocked by Noel. This is a staple of his game. Norland's Noel sends it back. Burks no good. 
For Philadelphia, they've gone 0 for 4 in the second quarter. Curry passes to Russell. Drummond, high post. Back to Russell. That one falls, coming off a Drummond feed. Russell's got eight. And Brad, back when you played, were there certain types of teams that gave you more trouble, whether it was size or athleticism or maybe shooting? Well, back in my day, I mean, the big, strong teams had a huge advantage. They could really beat you up and plant big guys inside, which really made it difficult getting to the rim. You could tell his hustle inspires the entire squad. He really gets everyone so amped up. Gets the bucket. Don't oh. let that slight frame fool you. Seth Curry on the interior. He will finish shots. Pass to Noel. Walker with it. Up and over Russell. Walker's shot is off. The 76ers have gotten just two of six field goals to go in the second. Outside Curry. Pass to Green. Here's Thibel. The Knicks pull it in. Randall's got five rebounds tonight. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Outside Fournier. And it's out of bounds to the Knicks. New York will retain possession. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for the Sixers. And a switch here also for New York. Robinson, he's checked in for Noel. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Four on the clock. Here's Walker. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That one on Russell. And when you talk to folks around the league, has a bad word to say about Walker. He's just a good guy, a loyal guy. At the line for two. Throw good, Walker. And of course, Kemba's won the NBA Sportsmanship Award multiple times. Yeah, he's such a glue guy. I mean, he brings people together. He's a guy who improves the culture of your team. And both free throws good for Walker. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Drummond, the screen on Walker. Outside Russell, pass to Embiid, inside. Here's Drummond, count it, two for four from the field now. You can't discount Embiid's value as a passer, that vision and court awareness. These are traits a team loves to have in a big man. Burks a screen on Russell. Here's Walker, outside for Randall. It's stolen by Drummond. Green. Pass to Russell. Fires from deep. Can't bury it. His fifth miss in nine tries. The Knicks have gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. Fournier finds Burks. Outside Walker. From behind the arc. New York no good that time either. He came out today planning to do as much damage from three-point range as possible. Well, it looks like it's time to change up the plan, guys. The three from Curry fires in the triple. Curry's got five points now this quarter. No hesitation from Seth Curry on the catch and shoot. You can see the confidence in his mechanics. That's beautiful. Walker with it. Now guarded by Curry. Oh, what a play. It snatched out of the air. Credit the block. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. Here's Embiid, and Embiid gets the double team. Russell from outside. And the 76ers, another three. Russell is continuing to develop that deep perimeter shot. 
shot. He's got to continue to be a factor from there. Outside Burks to stop the run. Yes! Great play by Walker to set it up. Four, three. Walker's got three assists tonight. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Embiid passes to Russell. Embiid a screen on Randall. Curry drives in. It's deflected! Fournier against Drummond. Robinson passes to Walker. Crafty move. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Embiid's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done to the paint. And the jam by Drummond. Andre Drummond with the bucket. Boy, we know this guy can score it. New York has gone one of three from three-point land here in the second quarter. Now a timeout called by New York. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with the matchups? Sixers with some changes. Tobias Harris checked in for Green. Milton comes in for Curry, and it's Maxi in for Russell. Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Pass to Maxi. Three-pointer. The shot off that time. New York goes the other way with it. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Cavaliers. It was textbook rim protection in that game. Taking real pride in shutting down the other team. It was obvious. They pressured that team from the outset every trip down the floor. That will wear an opponent down over time. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Thanks, BA. Well, the players on two-way contracts getting expanded opportunities last season after the league eliminated the 50-game cap and permitted them to take part in the playoffs. The pandemic played a role, but guys, teams are continuing to find contributors among these scrappy young players. Well, it's all about opportunity, Allie. Thanks. Fournier against Milton. Quickly outside. Fournier, the pass to quickly. Five on the clock. There's the three. And the Knicks, another three. Well, the big man, Taj Gibson, pretty assist there. Here's Maxi. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Pass to Harris. Screen by Embiid. And Harris throws it down. 
with the dunk. Boy, the timing there couldn't be any better. You know, the execution was simply flawless. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you run that play. And that one's good. Quickly. Terrific design and execution, leading to an opportunity right at the rim. Pass to Maxi. Embiid is screen on quickly. And Maxi, here we go. Here's Embiid. That shot off. And New York the other way now. Quickly outside. Now Fournier. To the middle. Fades and shoots. Barrett can't hit. Philadelphia has gone two of five from deep here in the second. Pass to Maxi. Drummond with the ball. Back to Maxi. Six on the shot clock. Fournier against Melton. Over Fournier. Melton, no good. This gives him an opportunity to get within 10. Quickly finds Fournier. Here's Barrett. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. The one thing you know when defending Barrett, he wants to get to the rim every chance he can. And you know, Grant, on his attacks to the basket, Barrett is looking for points, a foul, or both. Oftentimes, initiating the contact, too. As he gets more established in the league, he'll get more calls to go his way. And he drops the first. What R.J. Barrett brings to the table nightly is an incredible array of basketball skills offensively and tireless energy. If he can get consistent with his perimeter game, he's going to be very difficult to deal with for a long time. The 76ers making a switch here. Dybul's checked in. And a switch here also for New York. Noel, he's checked in for Robinson. So hits one and misses one at the line. And they seem to have taken a more heads-on approach this quarter. And it's getting them to the free throw line. A nice shot by Milton. We're beginning to see this more and more from Harris. Just taking what the defense allows. At that time, finding the wide open man. Quickly, passes to Barrett. The kick out to Fournier. Ooh, good work defensively by Milton. The 76ers shooting 47% so far in the second. Harris, a screen on quickly. Milton with it. Picked up by Fournier. Harris. And that's his fourth bucket of the game in seven attempts. You know, they're really being bullied right now defensively. Eight of the last ten points have come from inside. Pass to Gibson. 119 left to play in the second quarter. Here's Fournier. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Fournier's got five points in the quarter. Well, the body of Evan Fournier comes into play in these difficult finishes. That's really nice. Harris with it. Noel covering. Harris against Noel. Harris drives in. Excellent D there from Noel. New York has gone two of four from beyond the arc in the second quarter. Embiid with the block. A menace on the defensive end. Embiid's reach disrupts your offense. Left side, Barrett. Blocked again! Pass to Milton. The Knicks pull it in. 27 seconds left to play in the half. Here's Quickly. The rebound by Maxi. Quickly's gone 2 of 5 from the field here. Now Milton. And here's Thibel. Fournier covering. Here's Maxi. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first point of the game. Here's Embiid. No good. A bit long that time. 
Most nights this shot would have been his, but the defender gave him just enough trouble. And so we wrap up the first half. The Sixers on top. They're up by 11. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. I'm here with Coach Tom Thibodeau. Coach, I saw you getting into your team. What's been the problem? Playing a low energy game, we got to get into the ball. Our ball pressure has to be a lot better. We've got to challenge shots, so we're playing low energy on offense. Energy goes a long way. Good luck getting that up in the second half. All right, good stuff, Allie. And we'll get back to the action at the start of the third quarter. Greetings, everyone. Let's first take a look at the players of the week in both conferences. And some stellar players indeed. Man, I would love to win Player of the Week. What a dream. How about you, Shaq? I think he's getting sleepy, honey. I think it may have been those turkey sandwiches. The tryptophan. And now let's look at how Joel Embiid played in that first half. I'd say incredible. Incredible first half for him rebounding the ball. We don't always talk about it enough, but guys who own the glass, they can be huge difference makers. Leads to extra points and extra possessions. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period. are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. What else can you say? Joel Embiid, an impressive effort here today. And just halfway through this contest, he's already registered a double-double. That takes a level of aggression and a level of focus, and he has brought it all night thus far. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Green and Harris, the forwards. D'Angelo Russell is out there with Seth Curry. And it's Embiid in its center, filling out the middle. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. And out of bounds, the 76ers will take it. Let's take a second to see which teams have been hitting the glass with a fury this season. The 76ers, number one. And I love how active they all are on the glass. When a shot goes up, this team takes a gang rebounding approach to tracking down their boards. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his first. That's on Kimba Walker. I'll tell you, proving how dangerous he can be inside. D'Angelo Russell forcing the defense to make a commitment. Russell taking two shots. The first free throw is good. Boy, when you think about D'Angelo Russell, you get such incredible shot creation. This guy can attack from close or from range. He's got versatility in how he goes about producing points. And both free throws good for Russell. And with Russell, there is no easy answer for how to defend him, Doris. Yeah, you forget the size he brings to the guard position. Six foot four and faster than most players. Russell can do a lot of damage no matter who is checking him. They get it again. And so the ball out of bounds. Embiid touched it last. And here's the upcoming schedule for the New York Knicks. On Wednesday, they'll take on Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Milwaukee Bucks. And then on Friday, they'll go up against Gordon Hayward and the Charlotte Hornets. And for that game against Indiana, you'd be hard-pressed to find a more even pairing in the league. That one promises to be a really closely fought battle. Here's Fournier. Not enough on that one as it misses. Well, the 76ers shooting at a respectable 49%. Harris passes to Russell. Green with the ball. Now Harris. Fournier covering. Nice move. No problem from Harris as he finishes at the rim. Harris has got...
got 11 points. In so many ways, Harris can beat you. He has the size and skill to score from all three levels. Robinson finds Walker. New York, no good that time either. Listen, that's a look at the hit, but right now he can't throw it in the ocean. Outside Russell. Takes it inside. The shot misses. Oh, nice D from Walker. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Green against Barrett. Randall, a screen on Green. Six to shoot. Barrett passes to Randall. Oh, Green with a block. I'll tell you, for a two-guard, Danny Green gets a ton of blocks. Great use of his length. Harris, the shot is good. This guy is cooking right now. He is leading them on the offensive end as they remain in front here. Randall, a screen on Russell. Walker with it. Green picks him up. Walker's shot is off. For Philadelphia, they've got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. To the paint. And Harris gets it to go on the assist by Green. Green's got three assists tonight. Well, Danny Green excels at recognizing when his teammates have open looks and putting it on the money. Nicely done. Handle a screen on Russell. Walker against Harris. Outside Walker. To win the drought. Philadelphia grabs the miss. It beats. Tries to spin move. Curry passes to Russell. Outside Green. Pass to Curry. Let's it go from deep. The shot, no good. New York goes the other way with it. Outside Barrett. Walker against Green. Randall with it. Puts up a three. Yes! Great play by Walker to set it up. Three points. Walker's got four assists in the game. Well, offensively, this guy has been cooking. They are definitely not losing because of him. Russell, the pass to Harris. Hits the close-range jumper. Harris has got nine points now in the second half. <laughs> I just love the ball. Up top, Walker. Guarded by Russell. 13 feet out. And a foul Seven called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free-throw line. That one on Russell. The Kimball Walker puts defenders in a bind. That quickness is problematic. You see it there when he gets the foul. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Throw good, Walker. And a lot's changed for Kimball Walker. Bought out over the summer, and of course this was after he was sent out to Oklahoma City with the Thunder. Now Kimball gave up some cash in that buyout, but he feels like he's in a great fit with the Knicks to help them make another run. Andre Drummond is checked in for Joel Embiid. Burks, he's checked in for New York. And both free throws good for Walker. As a young man growing up in New York, Kemba Walker was part of a performance team. And this young man, as a performer between the lines as a basketball player, there is a bit of improvisation there as well. Pass to Russell. Here's the three. And the shot is good. Harris making the play. Harris has got his third assist of the night. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They really emphasize ball movement here today. Randall, a screen on Russell. Here's Walker. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Second shot opportunity, and it's laid in by Randall. Randall's got five points in the quarter. Well, that's Randall working in his comfort zone. You can see how confident he is on his ability to score inside. Here's Drummond. 
and he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's his first personal Boy, guys, there is no denying Andre Drummond's rebounding numbers are absolutely eye-popping. He is one of only three to open a season with a 30-point, 20-rebound game. He misses the free throw. Boy, the thing you notice with Drummond is the consistency with which he dominates the paint. There's no doubt, because his impressive streak of double-doubles really captures what he does night by night, season by season. He just never takes his foot off the gas in terms of crashing the glass. And no luck that time either. Andre Drummond amongst a select group, right? The 2020 guys, those who can get you 20 points and 20 rebounds on any given night. There haven't been too many of them over the years. Harris passes to Russell. Green for three. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. Green's got himself on the board with a three there. Uh, Danny Green is one of the best catch and shoot players in the league. Makes it look easy. Now a timeout called by New York. <laughs> and D'Angelo Russell, looking at his career, he's slowly becoming a more efficient player, learning his strengths and his limitations. <laughs> Efficiency. These are the guys that come to mind. Here are the league's best shooters so far. Mitchell Robinson on top. And this guy just flat out knows how to score. A high IQ offensive player with a strong feel for what shots to take. Which is why his field goal percentage leads the league. against Russell. Walker passes to Burks. Here's Randall. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks able to retain possession here. Now that we're into November, let's see how the Eastern Conference standings are shaken out. You take a look at Philadelphia, things stacking up nicely for them so far. Number one in their conference and looking formidable. And of course there are the Knicks. Quite a bit of space between these two. Well, right now for the 76ers, it's impressive how well they have played. I mean, some teams need more time before they start clicking, but not them. They were ready from the beginning. And what a good feeling it is to play such high-quality basketball so early in the season. This kind of start sets the foundation for what could be a monster year. And Drummond with the jam! Well, the more repetition he gets, the more, more awareness you develop. D'Angelo Russell showing a desire to get his teammates involved. Walker passes to Burks. Back to Walker. Just five on the clock. The three. And it's Harris with the rebound. Harris has got rebound number five here tonight. 
Oscar against Russell. Drummond up top. Shoots over Robinson. Robinson with the block. Pass to Walker. Randall a screen on Russell. Here's Walker. Curry with the block. How about the effort from Seth Curry? He's blocking shots. Wow, what a lift for his guys. Bible, he's checked in for the Sixers. Maxi comes in for Curry. Noel, he's checked in for New York. Quickly comes in for Walker. For Philadelphia, they've gone 7 of 10 here in the second half. And the 76ers call time here. It's now an opportunity to take a break and talk about their strategy moving forward. Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which kind of adjustment he makes here. Sixers making a change here. Milton is checked in. Gibson's checked in for New York. Biggest in the game. Here's Drummond. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's going to go on Nerlens Noel. Well, this has been the book on defending Andre Drummond on the interior. Make him earn it at the charity strike. At the line for two. First one at the line is good. Well, Grant, at this point in his career, I think it's safe to say Andre Drummond will go down as one of the game's premier rebounders. Yeah, you just don't call him a specialist because there's a lot more to Drummond's game than just rebounding. Rim protection, points in the paint. He does just about everything you want in a big man. When he's on the floor, he lightens the load on every other member of their front court. Second free throw, no good. Yeah, they've really made a concerted effort to get to the line here in the second half. Pass to Gibson. Oh, deflected. It's stolen by Thibel. Here's Maxi. Now Milton. Uses the glass on the layup. Milton's got his third basket on the night right there. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Here's Maxi looking for his first basket still in this one. Russell up top. And again, it's Philadelphia. D'Angelo Russell has that offensive game working. You just want to play through him. Pass to Gibson. Now 
Now here's Barrett. To halt the run. And that's off the glass and in. Barrett's gotten his second bucket on the night. This guy a tough cover for any defender. Creative and assertive scoring the ball. Driving inside. Burks with it. Quickly outside. Over Drummond. And it's quickly with a miss. Philadelphia has gone three of four from outside in the second half. On the wing, Milton defended by Burks. Russell the pass to Drummond. Outside Milton. Just five to shoot. Here's Thibault. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Quickly outside. Pass to Barrett. Back to Quickly. Shoots over Maxi. And it's Quickly with a miss. Oh man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. He is trying to shoot his way out of it, and it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. And Maxi, here we go. Over quickly. And it's Maxi missing. New York has gotten only one three-pointer to fall here in the third. Five attempts. Barrett against Russell. That's tip. It's stolen by Thibault. Russell against Barrett. There's the block. R.J. Barrett has strength and length on the defensive end, and that makes that block an easy one. Now here's Quickly, tightly guarded. Noel the screen. Here's Barrett. And it's blocked by Thibel. Down low. Here's Russell. And then Russell with the double. So a point guard who can flush it with authority. D'Angelo Russell takes advantage. Pass to Gibson. Now here's Barrett. He's covered closely. And out of bounds. The 76ers will take it. These are not the teams to challenge at the rim. The best in the NBA in shot blocking. The 76ers, number one. This is not the team you want to challenge at the rim. They're the best team in the league at blocking shots. Here's Maxi. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Here's Milton. And it's blocked by Noel. Milton against Burks. Quickly outside. Screen by Gibson. Joel Embiid, he's That's checked in for Russell. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Fournier's checked in. Quickly outside. And he makes it. Quickly, he's got eight points. Bad idea leaving him open. He needs more defensive attention, not less. Embiid is screen on Fournier. Pass to Embiid. Ooh, he's now seven for 12. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Fournier finds quickly. Gibson with it. Shot clock at six. Now Fournier shoots over Embiid. Fournier with the bucket. Fournier's gotten his third basket of the night. So under control when he's shooting the basketball. Fournier just a natural scorer. Here's Embiid. And so it's D'Angelo Russell making things happen for the 76ers. He's been productive scoring the ball. He's got 20 points so far. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere.
All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. So on the floor for New York, Kemba Walker's out there with Emmanuel Quickly. Then it's Nerlens Noel. Then there's Mitchell Robinson. And it's Fournier in at the small forward position. MB gets the bucket. Yeah, showing a little versatility with their offensive attack. In the first half, it was about the three ball. In the second half, they've emphasized interior scoring. Now here's Noel. Pass to Walker. Let's go with a three. Gets the three to fall. Well, that's his second three of the game. One in the first half, one here. Philadelphia's got five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Now here's Harris. Noel covering. Harris against Noel. Hits the front of the rim and out. And for the Knicks, they're shooting around 33%. Not the best offensive efficiency. Walker passes to Quickly. From 11 feet away. And Danny Green gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. The Knicks make it a switch here. Randall is checked in. Knicks substitution. Julius Randall. Quarter still young, just over a minute play. Randall is screened on green. And there is a whistle. That goes on Tobias Harris. That'll be a second foul of the game. Yeah, he tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. On the wing, Fournier. Green covering. Spins. Here's Randall. He can't get that one to fall. Oh, great D that time from Harris. Here's Maxi. Walker covering. Quickly against Curry. Out to the wing. Six to shoot. From the strike. Embiid can't hit. The Knicks have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts of the fourth. Outside Walker. And the Knicks miss again. When you're not in rhythm with the three ball, why do you keep firing from there? Pass to Maxi. And whenever a team has a superstar talent force, there's immediate pressure to build a roster that can win a title. Obviously, more teams fail than succeed. There's no doubt, VA, but the what we're seeing in the modern NBA is guys who not only obviously want to get paid, this is a business, but what happens is they also want to win because it's all about their legacy. And so they put pressure on an organization. Make sure we have the pieces to compete for a championship. First one falls. One thing that seems undeniable, on the floor, off the floor, and social media, it doesn't matter, Embiid's presence looms extremely large. Russell's checked in for the Sixers. And a switch here also for New York. Barrett's checked in. And Embiid drops them both. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Walker against Russell. Walker passes to Randall. Buckets. He's now 6 of 10 from the field. Pick and roll is Kemba Walker's game. He slices and dices as a scorer, or in this instance, as a passer. Steps back and shoots. And that one hits the back iron. 
for New York. They've gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. Quickly against Curry. Walker for three. Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got rebound number 15 here tonight. Russell from outside. It's hauled in by Robinson. Robinson's got his fifth rebound in this one. Russell against Walker. Quickly outside. Oh, nice D from Curry. Philadelphia has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Here's Harris. And that's a miss. 8 for 14 on the night. New York has got 1 of 3 to fall from downtown here in the 4th. Walker finds Barrett. Outside Robinson. Pass to Walker. 5 on the clock. Back to Robinson. That shot missing. Excellent D there from Embiid. The 76ers have got one out of six shots to fall in this final quarter. Not ideal. Russell to pass to Harris. Inside. Robinson with a steal. Randall inside. Guarded by Russell. Randall can't hit. And for Philadelphia, they're shooting it well. Almost 50% from the floor. Embiid is screen on quickly. Pass to Embiid. For Robinson. Embiid passes to Curry. He drops it from range. And when it comes to the three, they've been really dialed in here in the second half. New York calls timeout. Substitutions here. New York has gotten one of three to fall from downtown here in the fourth. Walker attacking. It's hauled in by the Sixers. I don't know if he's tired or what, but he is definitely holding back a little bit, and he has to step his game up right now. Russell with the ball, and Walker picks him up defensively. Corkmaz, is good. You have to show more effort defensively. Everyone knows he can do that from deep. Well, to me, that's just inexcusable. You start to wonder how much they really want this basketball game. to Walker. And the top pick in this year's draft, Kay Cunningham. Grant, I heard some insiders compare you to him. You like those comparisons? Well, he's 6'8 with skill, sees the floor, I think approaches the game the right way. Maybe not the leaper I was, but tremendously talented, and I'm so eager to see how he develops. He's got a bright future in front of him. Here's Knox, and it's thrown down hard with both hands. 
Wow, how about the ability to get separation and pick and roll play? Such an important aspect of NBA basketball. Here's Russell. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Russell's got 11 points here in the second half. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Pass to Knox. Now Walker fires the three. Sinks the tray. Walker's got six in the quarter. Building confidence in that deep ball. One from distance in the first, two in the second. Russell against Walker. Here's Korkmaz. Launches it. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. Russell's got five assists in the game. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. And again, New York with the triple. His three-point shot looks so pure. The defense allowing him to get comfortable out there. Walker against Russell. Pass to the A. Korkmaz on the wing. The mental and physical toll of the last few seasons. It reflected in some of the injury numbers, Doris. The league trying to find ways to reduce that strain. I think, B.A., it was absolutely something we all felt in the past couple of seasons was the compact schedule, uh, how fast and furious the game seemed to come. I don't think we're out of the woods yet either. These types of things can be cumulative, so the more we can make health as a top priority, the better off the league will be long term. Russell up top. Using his post moves to get the two points. Russell's got 24 points. So creative with the basketball in his hands. You can see D'Angelo Russell's understanding improving over time. That's nice. Knocked away. Here's Korkmaz. Pass to Springer. Outside Russell. Clock at six. And then Russell with the double. And staring at a sizable deficit. The defense has to tighten up. New York has gone three for five from three-point land since the end of the third quarter. Outside Walker. The three is up. Drains the triple. 20 points for him. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Outside Russell. While super teams are still being built, Grant, what's the key to making it work with three or four guys who all need touches? Well, it comes down to good communication between your leaders. Of course, you have to have a plan. You can't be out there winging it. And of course, prioritizing wins over stats always works. The 76ers have gone 7 of 14 here in the fourth from the floor. Tries again. The Knicks pull it in. Walker's got a rebound number five here tonight. Driving to the basket. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's his first personal foul. Fourth team foul. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Philadelphia. I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In the first half, we saw them doing it, and they've continued to succeed as the game has worn on. Yeah, something else that stands out tonight is how many assists they have. And he makes a first. And it's a completely new group for the 76ers. A big group substitution here for New York. Gibson's checked in for Toppin. Noel comes in for Knox. Burks, he's checked in for Bacon. And quickly subbed in for Walker. And so he hits both. And they've done well from the free throw line this half. No misses yet. Boy, this could snowball if they continue to put up points. I can't say enough about their performance. Embiid against quickly. The Sixers with another miss. New York has gone four of six from deep thus far in the fourth. 
To the inside, Gibson. Soft touch off the glass. Gibson's got his first basket of the night. If Taj Gibson gets around the rack, you understand this guy is going to make an opportunity. Outside, Milton. to change momentum here. Outside Burks. Graham is someone who played abroad on Team USA. How exciting is it to see how much more international the league has become? It's fantastic, no question. You know, back then we saw so many talented foreign stars playing internationally, but now the best really do all find their way here to the NBA. Pass to Thibault to the paint. Here's Embiid. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. He can be such a physical force. It's so hard to keep Embiid from getting to the free throw line. Philadelphia, Joel Embiid at the line for two. The free throw drops for Embiid. And the 76ers with some changes. Tobias Harris checked in for Thibel. Curry comes in for Milton. And Russell is subbed in for Maxi. Barrett's checked in for New York. And Embiid drops them both. Minute 32 left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the 76ers. And you don't usually see this kind of blowout, but tonight they delivered the punishment. I mean, what's so impressive is they never wavered in their approach. They just kept at it and showed they were without a doubt the better team. And with this one, they go double digits in the win column. And once this game is all said and done, they'll have a healthy 2-0 lead in this season series. And we get spoiled sometimes, but we should take a second to appreciate what a sensational performance this has been for Joel Embiid. And I love how active he was on the glass. Not afraid to get physical and do whatever he could do to grab boards. R.J. Barrett trusting the jumper in the catch and shoot. Boy, if he's consistent with that, turn the lights out. Russell, the pass to Harris. Back to Russell. Outside Curry. Pass to Harris. Six on the shot clock. Shoots over Noel. Harris misses. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Burks passes to Quickly. Shoots over Curry. And it's Quickly with a miss. Russell against Quickly. Outside Russell. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. Boy, they were something special to watch tonight. And the crowd loving every second of it. It's always a great feeling when you play this well for your fans. This team really showed what it's capable of. All right, let's go courtside to Ali LaForce with our player of the game. Ali, it's all yours. Tobias, congratulations on the win. Do you sense this team is building good chemistry? Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing is us continuing to find our identity. Um, and what we all learn is we're a great team once we get stops and once we're able to run, get out of transition. Uh, we just continue to find each other's similarities and our personalities as we play together. Guys, as the year goes on, they continue to get closer. Allie, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our 2K team, this is Brian Anderson signing off. Last but not least, here is your New Balance player of the game, Joel Embiid.